the Course of Miracles, spiritual therapy, spiritual healing prayers, spiritual metaphysics, spiritual healing and self-healing. That's what the Course of Miracles is all about. What is a Course in Miracles? A lot of people ask the Course in Miracles, but actually really, its correct title is A Course in Miracles, and it's in, in what it is, is intense self-psychotherapy, spiritual metaphysics for healing. It's filled with spiritual prayers, which are lessons for healing and principles for spiritual metaphysics. Hello, everyone. This is James Nussbaumer, and I'm the author of two great books that explain all this. The first book is called The Master of Everything. It's a story of mankind in the world of illusion we call life. And its sequel is called Mastering Your Own Spiritual Freedom, Lessons from A Course in Miracles. Now, there's a third book on the way that is going to describe in detail what I'm going to, this amazing story that I'm going to tell you right here that just is really, really a shocking, amazing story. And I hope you'll bear with me to the end on this. But it's in book three of the series and I've got so many books to go yet. I've got a great publisher for all this, too. But just a few minutes ago, my, my coordinator, uh, Sheila, uh, and I were walking through the park here, just outside this window here of my studio. And uh, she says, oh, my gosh, you know, we'd written a blog about this. And she goes, we gotta, you've got to make this into a video. People have got to see you explain this story you know, it, your face and your words and coming from you, in addition to the written uh, article that is posted at my blog. So once I make this um, video to you here and explain this, it will be posted at the blog and you will have a link to go to that blog. If you're at YouTube watching this, it would be in the description box down below, take you directly to the blog. There will be the article and then underneath the article will be this video as well. So, but this story is really amazing. And in a set of other previous articles, I had discussed and, and I'd link them together too in that blog that I'm recommending that you go see. I told the story of the woman from Croatia, Nikita, who mysteriously found my address while I was in prison. She began writing to me while I was in prison over a foolish securities violation. For those of you that don't know me, the details of that is in the first book of the series, The Master of Everything. But my problem was an event that I got caught up in while in my practice as a financial advisor, and that ended my 25 years as being a financial advisor, and I was sentenced by an angry example setter judge to 10 years in prison, but I was released after eight years, and I mean eight hellish years in an, in an Ohio State penitentiary, where my first three books were born, and by the way, is where I had also from prison had secured a mainstream publisher called Ozark Mountain Publishing Company, and that third book is on its way out in addition to these, and it's in the final editing phase right now as we speak, as of the date of this blog, and I expect it to be in stores everywhere by... 15th of October, which would be 2017, where we're at now. So, but while I was in prison, and I wrote these books from, uh, you know, with uh, ink pen and into composition journals, there were no computer resources available for inmates. So let's get into what is spiritual metaphysics? Well, on a, on a particular day when I, again, needed to have some mail come to me in prison, you know, or spiritual healing, we may call it, a letter indeed showed up for me postmarked from Boston. Yes, Boston, Massachusetts. It was from Nikita, the woman in Croatia who mysteriously somehow had, had gotten my address and was writing to me in prison. And this was my sixth enlightening letter from Nikita so far. And this time, written while on her business trip across the Atlantic Ocean. I sensed that she wrote me these letters with the full intention of keeping me positive and focused, though the more newsy type sections of her letters were always 
quite humorous and fun loving. In, in this particular letter, due to our language barrier, our language differences, and she had a very strong, uh, you could tell just in her, in her penmanship, a very strong uh, barrier of Croatian to English language there. And some personal, due to some other personal issues, she told me about her involvement in, in the spiritual therapy of the Course of Miracles, as she called it, the Course of Miracles. And like I'd explained, it's, its actual title is A Course in Miracles. But that's okay. That's a just a little slang or a little bit of a you know nickname that people you know want to quickly say and they're used to and there's nothing wrong with that but so in this letter that she'd written me I, I had to do a little bit of editing because of the language barrier and here's the letter that i'm going to read from you right here that i have over here on another area dearest jim i want i want you to know there is a there is a garden of minds extending its thought through christ and on to you and the garden feels the glimmerings of love and hope that you hold. Your release from prison will be soon, I am certain. I also have been seeing much about prison reform in the news for Ohio. Many are behind you, so please hang in there. For us, please hang in there. I'm including a gift of words, which I hope you at times of despair and anxiety and fear may help you get through. They are my words I share with you. So now this means they are your words too, Jim. Here are our words. I pulled them from the Course of Miracles. I desire that I share it with my brother who I love with God. It is not possible that I can have this holy instant without you or without me yet it is wholly possible yet it is wholly possible for you to share it with me whenever you would like and so i now choose this instant this holy instant as the one to offer to the holy spirit that his blessing unites and keeps us both in peace i so much look forward to hearing from you whenever you would like Truthfully, in peace with you, Jim, Nikita. Well, finally, but with minimal details, Nikita answered my questions, the mysteriousness that was going on as to how she ever came to find me in the first place. After all, I was stuck in this Ohio prison, and uh, the, the, I guess start getting these letters from this woman from Croatia. <coughs> so it's here's how it went. So. Now, let's, but for 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 more enlightening sake here for you, spiritual therapy certainly is healing. Wouldn't you agree? So let's move on with keeping in mind a little bit about spiritual therapy and your own healing for things. And believe me, while I was in prison for eight years, healing was a was an ongoing thing every day. And of course, the, the writing of the books uh, kept the the healing going as more wounds would be set in. I just heal over wounds and heal and heal. But anyway, so Nikita explained about six months before on her first trip to Boston to meet with an international law firm that she, and she stopped on her way to visit New York City. She had always wanted to see more of the city. Over her five day visit in New York, Nikita wanted to attend Sunday services in a neighborhood Catholic church. She asked a casual passerby while visiting Staten Island, New York, and a nice man had directed her to go to St. George's Parish on Staten Island. Excuse me. During the mass, she noticed a prayer list in the holder on the back of the pew in front of her. The list had names of people in different situations of suffering in, in harsh type ordeals they're going through, like illnesses and, and other kinds of hardships. And then there was me, yes, me as a prisoner. My name was on that list for some reason. Somehow I got there. Yes, my name was on this prayer list in a church, in a Catholic church in Staten Island, New York. Of all things, believe it or not, of all things, Staten Island is where I was born. My, you see, my father was stationed there in the United States Coast Guard. 
and my parents, young, uh, 21, 22 year old, uh, young, my parents with, with me then left for Ohio and I was only three months old. So at three months we left New York and my dad ended his duty in the, in the Coast Guard and uh, we, they, we moved to Ohio. Okay, so while reading this from the volatile and often violent din of the cell block, and believe me when I say it is that bad with no exaggeration. So about while reading this from the cell block, I did a double take and a disbelief after reading this, and I actually commented aloud. I said it just like this. Oh, come on. No way. This can't be real. What's going on here? Well, then I proceeded to read further. And then, I, and then I looked away and I said, holy Christ, what is this? I couldn't believe what I was reading. You know, I was born there in Staten Island and she's finding my name in a church there. But she, Nikita, my friend through mail who I'd never met, showed me her honesty in this. Let's talk about spiritual healing, how it offers us so much. Well, while Nikita was looking at the prayer list, there was a couple sitting next to her and they realized she was an unfamiliar presence at the church. The woman who was seated next to Nikita quietly pointed to my name on the list and whispered in her ear that her husband had been writing letters to me. The husband looked over to Nikita and smiled and concurred. Interested, uh, being more interested, Nikita asked the couple to tell her more about me outside the church after the mass was over with. The two conversed with Nikita while escorting her to the parking spaces adjacent to the church and then stopped at the couple's car. The husband retrieved his briefcase from the back seat of the car where he had stored a copy of a recent letter from me to him. He neatly ripped off the return address and gave it to Nikita. The husband who gave Nikita the address, the husband, Joel, is a world-class cello player. And I also wrote about this in an earlier article too that will be linked at this blog site that you are going to be led to go to. But Joel, the cello player, made a slight reference to my interest in the Course of Miracles. For whatever reason, during their conversation about why I was in prison, well, of course, slight is all that he knew about my involvement in a, in a Course in Miracles, because I had never expanded on the matter to Joel when writing him a letter. Another person I had never met, just he felt an obligation to write me as a prisoner and to help soothe me. But spirit, let's talk about spiritual healing, spiritual healing prayers that help things unfold. Well, but whatever it was, I had briefly mentioned, whatever I had briefly mentioned to Joel in closing a letter to him, uh, mentioned was, must have stuck like glue with him. But I do remember closing the letter to him with a, just only a brief quote from the Course of Miracles. That's all it was, because I didn't want to, to push a Course in Miracles on him. My intention was only to pass along a healthy healing quote, and that's all that it was. Now I could see it all unfolding, how Nikita got to find me. I was learning more and more naturally about wholeness and how it finds us, but let me add that Joel is a principal cellist, principal cello player of 12 cellists for a large symphony orchestra, and in performance, the cellist keeps their focus on the principal. The other cellists, the other cello players in the symphony keep their focus on the principal cellist. And Joel, as the principal, is the one cellist who keeps his focus on the conductor up there. And this is how they all stay in unison and play beautifully with the cellos combined as one. As I rested on my top bunk, flat on my back. I was in awe after reading this letter, motionless to say the least, with all the chaotic and uh, voluminous noise and just insane 
insaneness going on in the cell block. I was just motionless, to say the least, thinking about all this. I then read on in her letter about how the meeting in Boston had something to do with the Worldwide Center for Peace and Wellness on her property, which would educate the help educate and help the homeless was her goal among other programs a portion of her many acres in the hills several miles several miles outside of the town of split croatia was destined to be a successful model for peace and forgiveness and for fun too she added she then asked me in the in a letter i enjoy do you ask me if i enjoyed skiing or golfing now, Nikita was limited and careful, it seemed, in her description of the plans, and as if I, as if she didn't want to let the cat out of the bag, so to speak, too soon. She didn't extend, she did, I'm sorry, she did extend an open invitation for me to visit someday, and she insisted that that day would be soon. Her loving message deeply touched me and was a soothing balm to my life under the oppression of prison. And believe me, it, it is very oppressive. I felt a rush of energy that, that warmed me inside as if I were blushing all over and my eyes were filled with tears. I was, it was a sensation of belonging to something incredible, the highest grandeur ever. It was the same feeling I had on the night of the worldwide meditation that Nikita had initiated and asked me to join, which is also told in previous blog articles. It was not only good, but of grandeur, and I knew it. A holy relationship, is as the course of miracles terms it, was being brought forward in my mind. Here's to your own self-healing, and I hope you've enjoyed this thought-provoking video. And if you did, please click below to subscribe to my YouTube video. And also, at the link at my blog, you'll find plenty of opportunity to check into my Everyday Miracles Mastermind newsletter. And in my newsletter called Everyday Miracles is where you, the reader, and I, the author, we bring our mind together for self-success in a better world. And now I hope you're deciding on the answer to spiritual metaphysics, to spiritual healing, and to your own self-healing. And I hope you're thinking a lot about all the love inside of you that you've got to offer to the world and extending that and helping others. I wish the best for you and God bless. Thanks for listening to me.